month, a new intelligent robot called Hubo was introduced to the Korean public, and now yet another group of scientists has come out with its own version. The researchers at the Korea Institute of Science and Technology, or KIST, say their goal is to develop a robot that will be available on the market within 10 years. Son Hee Kyung has the story. Robot NBH1 is otherwise known as a networking-based humanoid. Researchers at Korea Institute of Science and Technology say they have succeeded in creating a humanoid robot that can recognize people. Unlike Korea's Hubo and Japan's Ashimo, this robot has built-in artificial intelligence that enables it to distinguish individual figures and communicate with humans. This 150-centimeter tall robot, weighing about 67 kilograms called NBH1, was developed by a team of scientists at KIST. What's unique about this robot is that it has the ability to respond to simple oral demands, and it can also imitate some human gestures. For instance, it can make the shape of a heart with its arms, copying what a professor is doing here. This function is carried out by external computer servers that remote with the cameras, acting as a robot's eyes, enabling it to communicate with humans. The robot is programmed to understand and also answer to phrases like, I love you, how tall are you, and what is your name? Not only this, but it can also recognize human voices and walk to specific places on command. It can shake hands, turn and walk in a range of directions. Sponsored by the Ministry of Information and Communication, KIST spent around 200 million won or roughly 200,000 US dollars over the last year developing NBH1. By the end of this year, we aim to develop a robot that can not only recognize objects like soft drinks, but also be able to walk over and hand a drink to a human. Professor Yu hopes by 2008, his team of researchers will develop a humanoid robot that can be used in most households to do simple chores, such as delivering drinks, which can be sold in shops within 10 years. Son Hee-kyung, Arirang TV.